detail. Um, the study was, was done uh, on a, a location in Brooklyn, New York. Um, it aimed to examine the employees' perceptions of the organization's um, responsibility and social corporate responsibility. Um, the diversity fashion of social responsibility, I'm sorry I'm saying. The relationships between the employees' um, demographics of age, years of service as relate to employee retention, their gender and ethnicity, and the perceptions were measured by the responses to 17 survey, survey items. Okay, these are the research questions that I, we set out to answer. Um, Wanted to know if there's a linear relationship between the ages of the employees and their perceptions of the organization's obligation to diversity. We also wanted to know if there's a linear relationship between the years of service, years of service as relate to um, me measured in the range of years among the retailer's store employees and their perceptions of the organization's obligation to diversity. We also wanted to know if there was a difference between the retailers male and female employees perceptions regarding the obligation to diversity and I also wanted to know if there was a difference between the different ethnicities at that location and their perceptions of the, their organization's obligation to diversity. The study was significant in that the basically pointing to the, the current social climate. Um, we're focusing now on COVID-19 pandemic, the systemic racism and job loss. Um, effective corporate social responsibilities may play a major role in addressing or alleviating some of the issues. The retailer uh, who's anonymous will, is a longtime leader in charitable practices and they do rely heavily on employee participation. So we figured that an assessment of their perceptions and would inform the store leadership if there are any gaps in knowledge and practices where, um, you know, would help to imp improve employee participation. Next. Next. Okay, prominent art author, Archie B. Carroll. Um, according to Carroll, Corporate social responsibility encompasses four responsibilities, the economic, legal, ethical, and philanthropic responsibility. Uh, this four-part definition was began began beginning um, in 1991, uh, began, began depicted in a pyramid, in the form of a pyramid, because it symbolized the strength and endurance that's required in business. Corporate social responsibility is basically um, seen from a stakeholder perspective and all the responsibilities should be practiced at the same time. There's no one that's um, exclusive of the other. Here's it. Okay, the responsibility is always, the economic, sorry, responsibility is depicted at the bottom of the pyramid because that represents the strong financial foundation that business should have. Legal is the next level, which is required. Um, ethical is expected of businesses and philanthropic responsibilities are always desired. CSR driven businesses therefore are expected to make profits, obey laws and regulations and behave in an ethical manner, manner and practice good citizenship. I can't advance it. Employees are many times associated with the CSR initiatives of their employers. This makes them key stakeholders. And as being key stakeholders, employees are directly affected by the strength of the business's economic responsibility, especially when it relates to diversity issues. Um, there's an increase in diverse stakeholders um, because of globalization and especially within um, this Brooklyn location. So effective CSR initiatives can um, be a relative, relative uh, relevant and a direct link to adversity, diversity issues. The categories of corporate social responsibility that are relevant to this study are 
age diversity because there's an increase in the number of older employees due to longer life stands and financial reasons. Years of service, which is important in re, um, employee retention. Uh, next. Gender diversity is important, especially for this location because the, the, the majority of the employees are female. And um, in CSR, leadership roles uh, that are held by women, companies that are, are lead or held by women are generally thought of as being more um, ethical. Ethnic diversity is important because certain racial and ethnic groups face biases based on prejudice and stereotypes, whether they be implicit or explicit. And at basically employees and employers are responsible for promoting, um, developing, or uh, monitoring ethnic diversity issues. This is the one. Okay. Could we go to the next one? Um, there have been a lot of studies over the, over the years uh, on ways to measure diversity in corporate social responsibility. Um, but in relation to this study, the survey items for this study were adapted from Turnbull et al., um, Ning and Sears, and Conrad and Linehan. Okay. Today, most large organizations um, voluntarily report on their corporate social responsibility activities. However, there are no mandatory um, practices and there's nothing standardized. Um, constraints in that exist in um, compliance enforcement, standardization, and also, especially with smaller companies, it may create a financial burden. Um, Archie Carroll predicts that in the future, there's, there are gonna be more companies, especially smaller companies that are gonna report on corporate social responsibility because there are more leaders, company leaders that seeing the importance of it. Next. Okay, could we go on to the next? This is the wrong one. Okay, employee perceptions of corporate social responsibility. Um, employees play an important role, and especially in the retail, because employees are basically the first people, your, your first point of contact. Um, in a study by Editor and Shongs in 2019, um, resulted in, uh, found that employees that were tra trained in CSR related activities um, had a positive effect, especially a positive effect on customer relations, especially when managers were supportive. Um, an additional study by Hajas et al in 2019 um, examined corporate social responsibility and um, employee perceptions through a concept called disengagement. Okay, next please. Uh, this is basically the conceptual framework, which points to uh, the, the, the hypotheses and the research questions that um, we hope to answer. Next slide, please. Next slide. The study methodology and analysis. Um, the quantitative investigation of employee perceptions of, of diversity was performed on a sample of retail store employees at the location. 47 employees, um, the eight participated, age group was 21 and over, and they were employed, three, uh, employed full time for at least three years, and they were advised to complete the survey on their own time. The initial recruits were chosen due to the convenience and advice of the participation criteria. Additional participants were recruited through snowball sampling. Data was collected by online survey hosted at Question Pro, and which was the survey was completed in approximately four minutes in a single session. There were 122 views, 47 um, attempts, and out of those 47 became our sample. Next slide, please. Linear regression was used to analyze the research questions one and two. ANOVA 
was used to, re to analyze research questions three and four. The overall statistics, statistical analysis of the survey um, and supported the, the null hypotheses presented in the original study, in the full study. Next, please. Um, most of the study participants believe that, ju just to go over a little of what um, the, the findings said, uh, most of the study participants do not believe there's a person or position designated to handle diversity issues at the location. And the stu study demographics of basically 73% uh, of the sample were women support um, a good case for women in the leadership role there at that location. And then the majority of the participants believe that the retailer doesn't listen deeply to people from other um, backgrounds to understand their perspectives. Next, please. Implications um, would be to improve the employee participation, corporate responsibility participation, and the retailer may realize the benefits of retention strategies such as um, life work balance programs, mentorship, and employees may also become aware of the policies and available resources that the company offers. Um, limitations and, and biases were one was, um, one major was that the length of time, a uh, longer amount of time would have probably yielded different results, especially they would have been more, um, probably more management that uh, responded to the survey. And, um, and there were no open-ended questions on the survey. That was another thing. Next one, you can, go, you can go on to the next. The three major recommendations that we have for the company is that first to improve communication because it's so important for information dissemination. Um, through the study, we found out that there were a, a number of participants, a number of the respondents were not aware of a lot of the programs that could help them, um, especially is in, in education, um, benefits, um, and you know policies that might benefit them and and for uh, advancement. Um, establish a local designated person to handle diversity issues at the locations or employee research groups. I, I'm sorry, employee res resource groups, and empower the employees within their positions. The, the empowerment, um, you know, f gives them a, a, a sense of belonging and camaraderie. In summary, the employees as key stakeholders should always be informed and engaged in company corporate social responsibility activities. Engagement is driven by employee perceptions of corporate social responsibility and the benefits that they may get from participating. And the diverse nature of the retail industry lends itself perfectly to corporate social responsibility, its practices, and to the diversity of the employees at this retail location. I thank you and I apologize for all the mixed up, mixed up.